what's your name? Paper. Oh, I don't have a pencil. Oh, don't worry, I have extras. See, using a pencil is nice because you can erase. Thank you. <laughs> and lastly, in some cases, you'll need a calculator. And now, you just need a problem and let's solve it. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so the first problem we have today is 3x cubed equals 12x. And our first move, what we want to do is get, so our whole goal is, so we want to get x by itself. So what we're going to do is move 12x over to the other side. How do you do that? Well, you just subtract it. So here we go. And set that equal to zero. Okay, so now what we want to do is factor it. So what we have in common is 3, because th you can pull a 3 out of here and a 3 out of 12. And you can also pull an x out. So what we're going to do is 3x x squared minus 4 and then equals zero. Yeah. So now I set 3x equals to zero. And I'm going to simplify this so then it's x minus 2 equals to zero. Set that equal to zero. And then x plus 2 also set to zero. And so now you just have to find the value of x and since you can't divide by 0, x equals 0, or you have to move the 2 to the other side to get x alone, so x equals 2, positive 2, or, and then, again, move the 2 to the other side to get x by itself, and x equals negative 2, and that is our final product. Put a cap on that. Hey guys, it's Ashlyn here, so we are going to show you a second problem. So we have the equation x cubed plus 5x squared minus 9x minus 45 is equal to 0. And we can factor this out to x plus 5 times x squared minus 9. And then we can check this by putting it into the form like I have with the lines. You just follow along with me. I don't really know what this is called. I'm sorry. I don't have the correct term. But we do x times x squared equals x cubed. And then 5 times x squared equals 5x squared. And that is positive. And then x times negative 9 is negative 9x, and then 5 times negative 9 is negative 45. And then we can also do the box method. So what you do for this, you just make a box, split it into four equal parts. It doesn't have to be equal, but it makes it easier. <laughs> and then we can just put the factors on the sides. We have the x plus 5 on the top, the x squared minus 9 on the side, the left side, and then you just do x times x squared equals x cubed, and then x squared times 5, 5x five squared. x times negative 9 is negative 9x, and negative 9 times 5 equals negative 45. And again, we can write this out into the original form by just writing out what we have in the boxes. So x cubed plus 5x squared minus 9x minus 45. And look at that, we factored that correctly. Go x. <laughs> now going back to the original equation, we can factor this out even more because x squared and 9 are both able to be square rooted. So we have x plus 5, x plus 3, and x minus 3 equals 0. And again, let's check this and make sure we're right. So x squared minus 9. And then we can do what we had done before in the first checking way. So x minus 3 and x plus 3. And then we're just going to draw the lines, so x to x, negative 3 to 3. And I didn't show the other lines because they cancel each other out. But you can draw the other two lines too. But x times x equals x squared, negative 3 times 3 equals negative 9, so you get x squared minus 9. And again, doing the box method, you just do the same thing. You make a box, split it into 4, and you fill in the right bottom corner, you put in the 9 and then x squared on the other side, and then you just fill out the outer corners and the inner corners to get the other boxes. We have x in positive 3 and x in negative 3 on the sides, and we can fill out the information. 
So we have x squared, because x times x equals x squared. x times 3 is 3x. x times negative 3 equals negative 3x. And negative 3 times 3 equals negative 9. And again, you just write out what you have in the boxes. So x squared plus negative 3x plus 3x minus 9. And then we can see negative 3x and positive 3x cancel each other out. So again, you get x squared minus 9. Woo! They cancel out. Now going back to the equation, we can write that x plus 5 is equal to 0. And then we can do x plus 3 is equal to 0. And x minus 3 is equal to 0. And we do this because you can't simplify this anymore. It's as This is the most you can factor out. So we can do what plus 5 is equal to 0. So that's negative 5 plus 5 equals 0. Negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0, and 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. And that is how you solve this out. We did it, guys. We factored, and we did it. Congrats. What am I ever going to use this for? Uh, you may be wondering what you're going to use this for. We're about to tell you. Who are you? We'll see. I didn't come to school for this shit. Bye. <laughs> Factoring isn't always used in your everyday life. It's used in a lot of different science classes, and of course your math class too. So you may need it in the future. Why not learn it now? And some teachers just don't like it when you use pen. Don't blame them. I mean, I'm pretty sure. A calculator. Back to you, Jimmy. Um. <laughs> Two and three and four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Oh, snap. Bring it back now, y'all. Oh, oh my gosh, I hate yeah. math. Math uh, is stupid. I, 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 I'm so glad I'm graduating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm graduating. <laughs> <laughs> the cap on that. <laughs>